Hello and welcome to Jezebel Decibel. Um, I'm going to do some over the, maybe the next 12 months or six months, a, a series of some videos to explain um, just some uh, ways of using binaural beats and maybe giving you a little bit more of, you know, a personal hands-on sort of idea. Um, so this one will be just the difference between using binaural beats for general use and um, for sort of a more, a slightly more sort of therapeutic approach for neurological regenesis, for sort of aiding things like sleep or uh, reducing anxiety or increasing focus or resolving, you know, lots of, you know, improving your life and um, gaining more emotional control. Um, so first of all, I'll start with that I actually got into this field for my own personal needs. So that, and that was more of a neurological regenesis need. Um, I had had a neuromuscular disability as a child. And as I got older for a while, I you know, had some problems and I used it and it was really, really effective for me. Um, of course, I made sure that I went to a doctor and, um, you know, neurologist and had everything checked out. Um, and by using binaural beats on a, a, a more a therapeutic pro approach, I was really able to maximise um, the neurological regenesis potential. And so this is something that I'm going to share. Now, general use with binaural beats, um, if you're new to binaural beats, some people can put the headphones on and you know listen to half an hour or an hour, no problems. There is a lot of people that may get sort of funny sensations like feeling a bit of pressure here or weird or tingling, you know, in the body somewhere. They're not necessarily negative things. They're, they're, they're a sign because you, your brain is getting an exercise as well as in training. So that's some of what's that's going on. I had when, uh, constant pain in one arm from an injury. Um, so when I first listened to vinyl beats, the very first time it was almost like a nerve going out the other way instead of having this shooting pain going down. And I felt this was almost like as if a, a pin was being pulled out slowly. It, was, it wasn't painful. It was just like a weird feeling. Um, and that was the only thing I felt. But, um, you know, a year later, after, uh, after meditating, there was no problem with the hand and arm at all. And, um, you know, the problem was a bit more extensive than that. That was just like the, the final lingering uh, problem. Now, when you listen to binaural beats for general use, you know, it doesn't matter, you know, anywhere between uh, a beginner, maybe you want to start with somewhere between five minutes and 40 minutes. And I would not personally recommend anyone, even an advanced user, I don't listen to them for more than two hours in a day. And usually it's around about 20 minutes to an hour. Of course, sometimes when I'm producing work, I may be listening to it you know, for a couple of hours with headphones going on and off. and But I, I've got used to that. Um, and there are other people who can do more. But when you use binaural beats for more of a, re, uh, how would I say, a neurological regenesis approach, you're better off picking, say, maybe one, two or three tracks what you need for um, and repeat them. Uh, listening, I want to say repeat them, maybe, you know, listen to them every you know, six days in the week and give yourself one day's rest, just as the same as if you're going to a gym. You'd give your body one day's rest to recover, or maybe two if you need it. You'll know more from yourself as an individual what you'll need. And by repeating one, you know, one track or three tracks, you know, depending on the amount of time that you need, um, and the different types of frequencies, whether it's alpha, theta, delta, or you know, SMR, um, high alpha, low beta, whatever. But by repeating that for a period of six weeks to two months, maybe even three months, depending, some people are faster than others, but in an average six weeks to two months, you gain, it's more like, if you imagine it like walking down a path, and if you walk down a pathway once in a, say like like an overgrown park or something or garden you know the pathway is only really 
very temporary and very quickly the plants will spring back up and it doesn't look like anyone's walked down there but if you keep going down that same path every day you know and repeating it it becomes a really solid solid path and it's the same with the neural pathways in your brain and when your brain's listening to a new stimulus it forms new neural pathways so when you're repeatedly listening to that new stimulus in the brain way that you're meeting or you know you're training for sleep or focus it's the repetition that is going to gain you the most benefit. Then after you've done like series of repetitions, of course you can listen to a little bit of general use like randomly, you know, buy, you know, or listen to free. You can use my work for free or purchase it or other people's work. Um, so, you know, um, whether you buy or, you know, use it here, if you use it repetitively like that and then after you've done that for a while, you know, go to, you know, pick another set of frequencies and then of course, make it a little bit more random, uh, you know, uh, uh, after you've done maybe it for a year or so, you know, and then sort of just go through the, the tracks more at random. Um, so I hope that helps a little bit and, um, yeah, uh, and um, all the best with your journey.